because the old phrase is crap happens. That's a modified version of the phrase. Crap happens. And I'll tell you, here's the example of crap happening. Okay. 2013. And a lot of you guys know this story. And I'm not and I'm telling you the stories. You're like, oh man, that's tough. I'm telling you a story to illustrate the point because well, let's just let's just tell the story and I'll get into it. So 2013, my business had been open for four years. I was doing uh, a pretty good, pretty good deal of business at that point. I started out doing practically nothing. Some of you might remember I was making 30 grand that first year. 30 grand don't pay for nothing. 30 grand don't pay for nothing back in 2009, and it don't pay for it pays for even less. 2022, 30 grand gets you a, you know, a carton of milk. You know what I'm saying? Thanks inflation, appreciate it. But back then that was nothing. So after three or four years, I made enough money. You know, I had money in my pocket. You know, we bought some cars and I paid cash for those cars. And I thought it was a high roller. It was $6,000, not 20,000. So it wasn't a lot of money, but I got to pay cash and I felt like I was Trump. I felt like this is awesome. I just bought a car. I didn't have to take out a loan and I was high-fiving myself virtually, you know, I would have done it. You know, I want to duplicate myself just to high-five myself. I felt fantastic, but here's, here's what happens. And you have no control over what happens in your life. If, if you guys think you can still control your life, you need to think again. <laughs> there ain't no control in life. You're like a river rock at the bottom of a raging river and you can try to steer yourself and you get little, little bits in one direction, but you are along for the ride. It was a morning. It was 2013. I don't know what I was doing that day. I don't know what was going on. I was sitting on the couch watching TV. I'm sure that this is one of the things where I was about to head out and probably do some service calls. And all I hear is a thud. And, and I, I hear a thud, but it, it didn't really alarm me that much. It wasn't extremely loud. It wasn't crazy loud. So I just kind of sat there and kept watching television. But an excess amount of time went by. My wife was ironing something in the other room, in our bedroom. So I got up. And I walked in there. My wife was on the floor. She had just finished seizing and was not coming to, but she was in that after state. For any of you who are familiar with epilepsy, she was in the after state where she was just kind of sitting there staring off into nowhere. It was going to be typically 20 or 30 minutes or more before she can really regain her faculty. So she's sitting there on the floor and I can tell that she has... She had, she's had a seizure. I wasn't familiar with it completely, but that's my assumption was she had a seizure. So I, you know, I called the rescue squad. The rescue squad came out there. She went to the hospital. They gave her something kind of anti-seizure, probably Ativan or something like that. We came back home that night. I was like, I, what, what's going on? So in a state of disbelief. And she did it again. For the next few years, we would wrestle with that happening over and over and over again. Not always in that intensity, like multiple a day. That didn't happen a whole lot. But it could, because after that, they would prescribe medication. But after a few years, it's improved. It's much improved now. In fact, it's pretty much you know gone away now due to the medication that she's on. But that destroyed any ability of mine to schedule anything at work. It didn't matter how hard I was working. It didn't matter what I would do because I would go to work and we have three kids at this time. I would drop off the kids somewhere and cause you know, she can't drive until she's cleared. So I'm driving everybody. She can't be behind the wheel of a car until she's cleared. And that didn't happen until much later. I drop them off. I go to work, but I might get a phone call. Or I might get a text with a bunch of jumbled up letters. There's nothing you guys can do about some of this stuff. There's nothing you can do. And that is one of the reasons why I now believe that we have no control over, over what happens in our life. We have, we have, we are just along for the ride. We are just along for the ride. So, and you can't account for that, but through all that crap, you have to move forward. And it just seems like, and he, I'm, I'm putting this out here for multiple reasons. I'm putting it out here to say that there are other people out there that have experienced things like you guys have most likely experienced something like this, at least some of you. And experiencing this stuff, you feel alone. You feel by yourself. 
You feel like you have the world on your shoulders and everything is crushing down on you. And I'm here to tell you, first and foremost, you're not alone. Okay. At the very least, you can, you can reach out to me. Everybody's got my contact information. It flashes on the screen all the time. Do not hesitate to reach out to me and apply the same rules. I tell you every time guys, just if I don't get it or respond, it's because I missed it and you just keep doing it. If you have an issue, it's like, Hey man, I mean, I'm having a really rough time. I'm struggling by myself, but I'm going to reach out to you and we'll share the rough time together. Man, we can tell some war stories about stuff we've done because it gets to a point where all you want to do is be a tech. You just want to go out there and fix something. It's no longer, do you want to find work? You just want to be able to go do the work that you found and you can't and you're stuck. It's tough. It's tough guys. I see some of you out there in the chat have, uh, have had similar situations popping up already. I see, uh, I kind of on a bag attack. I said his wife had a hemorrhagic stroke in August last year. It's been tough ever since, uh, 24 seven is gone and yet to keep someone with her. It is intense. Life's not fair. Not one little bit. And I think our society is trying to even things out all the time. It's nothing that can be done for it. Some, some lives roll easier than others. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. And you thank God if it's easy life. And you, you lean on God if it's not. You lean on them either way, but you definitely lean on them when it's not. Jerry Lockhart says three of my kids are partially disabled. To a, to a certain degree, I don't know exactly what he's referring to, what disability, but I understand that. I mean, uh, my kids have autism. It is high-functioning autism. Uh, it used to be called Asperger's. They don't call it that anymore. But any of you who are familiar with Asperger's syndrome, if you watch one video on YouTube about someone with Asperger's, you would likely be able to spot them in public after that. It's just a lot of... Uh, uh, social inability to socialize. A lot of times there's a, not, not savant because savant's a term that's very specific that refers to a very small amount of people, but you have an increased ability in some area for my children. It's a mathematics. It seems like so, and guys, it's not even that bad for me. You know, we we've dealt with it at a very young age. My wife intervened. My wife went to school to be the person that treats it. So, they were well taken care of and you see they they're doing really well now one of my sons is off at college and one of my sons is first in his class and he didn't and like he likes to tell us he doesn't study so i didn't study either when i was in high school i didn't have to study very much either i was i was pretty good with uh high school but by the end of high school uh, and in the college i darn sure had to study and i'm sure that he had uh He's going to have to do the same thing. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.